What's up, everybody? It's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today is November 28th. I'm going to show you what's going on inside the tent. As you can see here, doing a little cleaning. As you can see here, I'm still growing a little something, something. Bottom line is I haven't checked in with you guys in quite a bit. It's probably been about a month. I apologize about that. Had a couple things that I had to take care of, but I'm back in the mix. If you're new to the channel, my name is Michael. I'm an indoor hydroponic grower. This is my setup right back here. Pretty cool, right? It's situated in my basement. It's a perfect space for it. It's a multi-tier hydroponic setup. I primarily focus on uh, lettuce, as you can see here. But uh, let's take a quicker look on what I got growing at the bottom and what happened to the top and where we're going from here. Uh, by the way, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, give me the up, give me the thumbs up, and make sure to share this video if you find it interesting or someone in your family might find it interesting as well. By the way, everything that I use for my hydroponic grow is linked right down below. All right, let's dive right into it. Look at what I got going on here, guys. Um, couple of lettuce heads, nothing too crazy. I'm up, oh, I love how this came in. This is like the perfect bouquet, by the way. When they come in like this, and I'm really not sure what makes them come in like this. Like I love just like a nice little, little head, just like that. And I love when it's created this little inner part. Something about that that I just love. But there's something also about this entire grow that hasn't been going super well for me. And that's because initially, I was working with an old school, very non-powerful pump. Because I had a huge issue in my last video. If you recall, if you if you take a, 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 quick, uh, a quick look, my actual old pump just died out on me. It was quite bizarre. Had it for, I'm not even sure for how long or, uh, and I couldn't find another pump that I have like this. I still can't find it. So I had to buy a brand new general hydroponic pump, link down below, the best pump ever because um, so quiet and extremely powerful. So these aren't going as great. They're not as big. They're kind of small. I don't know why. And I haven't been feeding them as much nutrient as I should be. And that's totally my fault. But here, as you can see, I went in, okay? I used to get these smaller ones like this. Now, I got the mega ones, these huge ones, and I like them much, much better because there's so much more and uh, it's affordable, okay? The links are also down below. This is what I use, the Botanicare. Make sure to get the grow, the base, and the bloom. These are This is the three different stages that I focus on in my grow and it works really well. And by the way, if you didn't know, Clonex. Clonex solution for cloning, but also fantastic for root development. This is what I use, a couple of drops of this, and you're golden. Also linked down below. Let's go back down here. So, I don't think I've been feeding them enough. Now, the reason why I say that is because, as you can see here, they're not as big as usual. Now, some of them took better than others. It seems like the left is not as full as the right. There could be a lot of different variations why that happened. Um, but bottom line is because these two lights right here, these T5s, they're new, okay? They're new to the tent. Uh, because before, if you guys remember, I had one large, it was like a black housing that had four lights inside. So that's the case in that. And uh, I don't think the actual T5 spectrum on these is any different. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I, I could be totally wrong, but I'm almost certain that it's not. So that's where I am. Now, we'll go back down in just a minute. Up here, I had a pretty large grow, okay? All three reservoirs were full, they were doing well. And uh, what happened was, I was also, I'm also running these T5s that I've been for years. I had two of them, okay? As you can see here, they're basically situated on this, on this initial bar and that other bar right there. Now, my 1T5 completely died out. I don't know what happened, I don't know what the deal is, but a couple of things just kind of ran out of, ran out of steam, ran out of life. So I'm thinking and I'm wondering, and I really wanna hear from every one of you that has experience in these type of growth scenarios, will this be enough light from 1T5 spanning across the entire perimeter? As you can see here, overall, it covers it with light. But is it enough light for a good development to maximize the yield across the three reservoirs? Because I'm thinking, why not just keep one light there in the middle? 
much easier, less electricity, not that it really matters, you can't really tell the difference in electricity cost consumption at all. But overall, I think it's just cleaner. So leave me a comment down below, please. I would love to hear from all of you. I wanna hear if you have experience. One, are you using T5s? If not, why not? Are you using LEDs? If so, why do you, why so? Okay, and uh, is, is your grow technically the way that mine's set up? A lot of you guys have kind of scattered grows. I don't, you don't really find a lot of people doing the, um, the multi-tier. I mean, obviously certain people that, that put in the time, the effort and the money can set up a, a little grow like this, uh, but usually find kind of like one individual, you know, plant or something like uh, some sort of reservoir like this with some sort of minimal light above it. So it all varies, but let me know down below if you think it will be successful with just simply one light like that across the three reservoirs. I mean, from the way that I'm seeing it, it should work. I mean, it's, it's getting good coverage, but if you look here, it's not how you see the light down there because with two lights, it's obviously, you know, signif covering significantly more of the area. So obviously it's going to be hitting a lot more plant, in which case you're going to have more development. So, you know, based on your guys' comments, there's a high probability. Do I get another light? Or do I not? So make sure to leave me a comment down below. I need to hear from you guys. This video will also be posted on the Facebook channel and I'll be posting some detailed information including images on growingindoors365.com. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting on there as well as posting on Facebook and I love growing that Facebook group but I'm not hearing from enough of you guys. I see a ton of people that are doing hydroponics and other whatever, you know, fan groups, fan pages. And I know a lot of you guys are, are, are following the Growing Indoors 365 page on Facebook, but you're just not posting what you guys are up to. And I need to know what you're up to because I want the world to know how you're doing, what you're doing, and the progress that you're making because everybody needs to learn how to grow indoors and how to grow their own food. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna cut it here. I really appreciate everybody's help and support. And uh, you guys are just fantastic. So have a great weekend. I hope everybody had a really nice Thanksgiving with their family. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you're just staying safe and being with your family. But I'll see you guys in about a week or so. Hope you have a great week ahead. Have a great one.